Good, 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 good. So initially, we intended to use this episode as a guide for being pulled out of your front door with enthusiasm by your pet. That didn't go as planned, so this video is more about teaching respect for a boundary, and then stick around to see what I do when Elude busts loose on us and how I handle it. It's very, very important to know the things that I don't do. For example, I don't ever call her to me even though she busts out that door without permission. <laughs> good, 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 good. Okay, here we have the queen of ignorance herself, Elude. So Elude has lived with us on and off her whole lifespan. She's about three years old or so, maybe four years old. Mm -hmm. But guess what? She's probably only lived maybe less than a year of her entire life with us. We never had the opportunity to train with her. She's been co-owned by several families and turns out she's been too much dog for most families, all right? Too much dog for So guess what? This bitch is ignorant. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm going to be teaching her some fucking manners. Because she acts as if she's from a good sit. A line of ignobility, but she's not. We proudly bred this bitch. She's a Valkyrie. She's just ignorant. She's just ignorant. Yeah, she's ignorant. Now, this is what we're gonna do. So, you just saw what happened. If your dog is a soft dog, then something like a rope leash would probably work just as well as what I'm about to do. But this dog is not soft. If we try to do this with this rope leash or a choke chain, we're gonna be choking her more than I like to choke anything, especially you, Kimber. Remember when I first met you, Kimber, you had all those chickens, those literally chickens inside your house? Remember? Chicks, you they incubate them and shit? Remember literally, I literally walked inside one day and you were literally choking a chicken that you are about to kill, make soup out of. <laughs> ironic, all right, so anyway. So you don't want to choke the chicken, okay? So we prefer to do what is natural. Now, if your dog is soft, this would work. But because this dog is a hard Valkyrie bitch, we're gonna be using a prong collar. And this prong collar is one that we would use on a small dog, like a small poodle, a French bulldog. Yes, even a French bulldog. This is not to inflict pain. This is more so to communicate. Now, obviously it can inflict pain, but all things in life can inflict pain, even a towel. Yeah, towel that you dry yourself, dry yourself off with, tied around your neck, it starts being rubbed like a saw, it'll be painful. So this is just to communicate. And we're using the collar that is a smaller one than recommended by the manufacturer even. The manufacturer wants us to use a heavy ass one. But may I tell you that's too heavy? And I have to tell you the truth. If you use lighter weight leashes and training collars, you can blur the line into off leash Obedience much easier. That transition becomes easier because you can kind of fade into it. If you use a heavy leash and a heavy collar with a heavy clasp, your dog's gonna be very aware of whenever it's not on the leash. So this is a kitten leash, okay? Can we demonstrate this, please? Uh -huh. Stick the leash out. It's six foot. Okay. And we're gonna start making her understand that we don't want her to go through the door. Yeah? Did you? Did you do? Good, 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 good. Okay, on with the show. So we have the prong collar on Elu, as well as her training leash. Now, you see how Cranberry is fiddling around with that leash? Ideally, you don't want to fiddle around with it so much that the dog is aware of, of themselves being on the leash. So thanks for fucking that up, so people will learn from that. So now we're just gonna test her natural instincts, her natural resolve. See, I'm gonna open this. Bitch is doing a lot better than I want her to, okay? <laughs> this is a problem, good. Cranberry, please don't pull on her or anything, all right? Start walking out, Cranberry. I don't want her to follow you. So what would you do there? Perfect. By pressure. Good job. Perfect. It's Perfect. Like a kung fu master. Good. Now open the door and walk away from her, please. Open the door yep. and walk away. Good. Good, good, good. Now I'm going to walk out just so she's not doing that. For me. Hold the, I'll hold the door open. Okay. Step out that way, please. Look. Step on the leash, correct her, beautiful. Correct her, come on, grab the leash, quickly. Nip, take her inside, nip, nip, keep nipping. The whole time you should be pestering her with nips. Good, all right, stop right there. Good, good, good job. 
I, I don't give a fuck about making her shit, okay? Good. Now start walking out. This dog always looks fucking pathetic when you're training with her. Jesus Christ. She has to she's being abused. No, no. Step, step back. Matter of fact, let it saw out now. Right. Now she's really bothering me because she has, this dog is damn near spoiled. Inside. Don't let her back there. Inside. Good. Now start walking out. Good. Good weight. Good weight. Good. Michelle. Good weight. This person is not going the way that I planned. She's doing way fucking better than I than I wanted her to, okay? Alright, you know what? Let's kick it up a notch. Close the bed the, the door so she doesn't go in there, please. Good, good weight. So I actually want her to fuck up. She's doing really good. Let me see if I... Good. Handsome, you saw. Good, good, good. Handsome. Gucci bear. That's sick. Wait. Good. Good wait. Good. Good wait. Good wait. No, no, no. Right there. Right there. Step on the leash. So you, you completely fucked that up by not paying attention. You let that blessing turn into a curse. You weren't paying any attention. The dog's always got to be in your peripheral vision. What are you doing? Just drop the fucking leash and walk out. I told you you don't need to make a story in this This shit's not going to change anything. The focus is in her city. The focus is good quiet. The focus is her not going past this threshold. Good. Good. Okay. Now, go inside there, please. Take the power out of the car. I want her to bolt out. She's not supposed to. Taking that power off does not mean she can come out. So if she comes out, we're going to be ready to check her. See? Stepping in. Good. Good weight. And then rewarding her by saying the phrase, good weight. Good weight. Good weight. Cranberry, come hold the door open, please. Good. Good weight. Isa. Good. Isa. Good. Good, good, good. Because you don't want to get in trouble. Good weight. No ma'am. No ma'am. Look. No ma'am. Look. Look. No. Good, Isa. No, no. Don't say anything. No ma'am. Elio, no. No, good. And I say the word good whenever I think she's thinking about going back in there. And I'm gonna chase her down, watch. I knew that would make her. No, ma'am. Nope. Good. Good, that's how you do it. Nobody else is worried. She came out here un uninvited. Good. I never sped up, I just kept pursuing her. She's not even that stressed. Good. Isha, handsome. Could be good. See, that's what makes her want to come out, she gets jealous. Oh my God. Elliot, go bananas. Elliot, go bananas. Good. Good, good, good. Go bananas. That's fine. Good, good, good. Good, go bananas, Elliot. Pretty. Good, good, good. Good, 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 Elliot. Good, go bananas. That's you. Good. So pretty. Good. Beautiful. See? 
you're allowed to come out here. You just gotta come out here when we tell you it's okay to come out here. Just can't decide to bolt out or any of that shit, okay? They're too big for that. Thank you all so much for watching, especially since you stuck around until the very end. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and pull that bell so you'll be notified when we upload another video, yeah? We're gonna start training this dog so she has some manners because I tell you, this is potentially the most ignorant torso any trainer owns in the United States of America. Hell, maybe even the world. Probably no dog more ignorant than this one. Good, good, good. And she's grumpy. Her nickname is Grumpalina. She absolutely hates to work. This dog loves to work. Lisa loves to work. Ellie, don't want to make you do shit. Good, 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 good. Man, what a sweet long piss. And now watch how we're gonna get them back inside. On the left. Good, good, good. Awesome, huh? Good. Good, Ellie. Good, Isa. Good exit. Good. So be angry, but sing not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed. But when they do it, they are intense in the doing. If you are lukewarm, you're told in scripture, I'll spew you out. Would that you're either hot or cold, but because that you are lukewarm, I will spew you out. You can't do anything if you're lukewarm. You must be intense about it. No matter what you want, but you must be intense about it. For this I was born. For this I came into the world. Oh, the trap. Good, good, good. Now listen, come this way, please, and then put yourself into a sit over here. Oh, beautiful, that was an about turn. You, you did it perfect, she fucked it up. But you did it perfect. You did an about turn perfect, but she fucked it up. But you did it perfect. Hey, you just turned on the left, yes? Turn to the left, into her. So turn left. Beautiful, you did it, dude. She nailed it. She nailed it.